We're the FC TV with Gary Elphick following Worthing's 4-1 win away at Weymouth in the National League South. Gary, what an incredible performance from the lads to a man out yeah. there today. Yeah, um, to go down to 10 men so quickly, um, I felt that we showed a lot of resilience, uh, bravery and leadership, which maybe at the start of the season wasn't quite there. Um, so that to us shows that we, we, you know, we've made progression now and um, it was a real gutsy performance today and to come away and score four goals, Oli Pierce again, outstanding. Uh, and I felt we defended um, for well for large periods in the game. So, um, yeah, overall, very pleased with the lads' characters, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. From a defensive point of view, it was back to the wall after Ruben's red card early on. Did you see that? Can you give an opinion on that at all? Yeah, to be honest with you, I think um, he's, he's probably given the referee a decision to make. I don't think he had to dive in. Um, and uh, unfortunately for him, I don't think it was intentional, but it, it was slightly two-footed. Um, so um, I can see why the ref has given it, unfortunately. And... Uh, yeah, it's just one of those things, Ruben, I learn, and um, yeah, we, we moved on, and luckily we still got the victory. But in terms of the defensive effort from that point onwards, I mean, everyone, it was it was back to the wall, had to weather a few Weymouth storms yeah. throughout the throughout the match. Um, yeah, yeah. What an effort from everyone. Yeah, and I think something that symbolises that is like Ollie Pierce. I remember him sort of saying to Cash, you stay inside, because he was, he was blowing, and uh, like Ollie Pierce, our top goal scorer, was winning a header at left back, and... Uh, I think that's what we've got running through the team at the moment. There's a togetherness there, and we, we we've got each other's backs, which is um, which is brilliant to have. And Oli Pierce as well. I have to ask again. It's a weekly question at this point. He just can't stop him at the nah, moment. Nah, he's um, like just the last finish. The, the chip is absolutely ridiculous to, to produce that when we was under the cosh a little bit, and uh, he's got magic in his boots at the moment. And um, hopefully it, it continues. Yeah, and it felt like the goals came at times where we were under the cosh, and it sort of. It was perfect time to score pretty, pretty much all the way through. Um, yeah. yeah, it just seemed to give I the think, boys a little bit yeah, of relief. We was lethal, and uh, especially in their box, absolutely lethal. And uh, yeah, long mate, can continue. Joe Felix today, another one that I want to yeah. bring up. He seemed to be everywhere. I mean, he, I, I know he moved to a left back position in that first half and just yeah. seemed to be finding so much space going forward. Yeah, he's been an absolutely fantastic signing for this club and uh, been a massive asset. And once again, he, he's uh, he's not a leader that will shout and ball. He, he leads by his actions. And uh, I call him the turnover king because the amount of times he turns the ball over and all of a sudden he turns defence into attack. And uh, yeah, he's a massive asset to um, football club, that's for sure. And I think today's victory showed the the importance of the squad at this time. Obviously, bringing a couple of changes early doors, it, it just shows how together the squad is at this moment. Yeah, you know we're, we're going to have to have a little bit of like a recoup Tuesday and uh, see you know what's what for injuries and suspensions and things like that. And work a plan out with games coming thick and fast now. So uh, yeah, we will make sure we got to get everyone in and and uh, make a draw up a battle plan basically. So uh, yeah, it was down to to the whole squad today it's a squad effort and um, we won't win nothing unless we're a squad and that's that show today and on to Tuesday Welling another away trip another tough one on the road Yeah. thoughts going into that one? Well, obviously the new managers turned things around there a little bit and they're going to be a little bit more resilient uh, backs to the wall and they're fighting for survival so um, always a tough place to go Welling whenever you go there and uh, we're going to have to be on our metal again to get a, a positive result but um, we go in there with good form good togetherness and um, hopefully we can show up well